Hello there and welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 6. Today we're continuing on Let's Play. This is episode 36 and today's episode we are taking a look at the Festival Italia. For that we need an Italian car and for that we are going to head into our garage for the 2009 Alfa Romeo Mito 1.4 T Sport. Italy, Italy. The most Italian, Italian car you can find. Exactly. My mum had one of these. She's not Italian. Now you see, I wanted a Mito, but I can't find any. Either they've all rusted or they've all been crashed. Um, more think no one bought them in the first place. Okay, so there's some body kits for it. Oh god. Interesting air dam. That's just adds drag to it for some reason. And that adds a carbon lip, which doesn't look terrible. I, mean, I wouldn't take any of it. That's kind of a weird. I kind of like that. You know, weird sort of way. No flat floor. It's got a special wing. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. That number one actually looks kind of nice. Oh. Ooh, three! That That's oh. a four. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, you can make it chrome! Oh lord. I mean, obviously. Yeah. Give me the chrome bits. I'm not chrome, that's flat. Weird. Is it carbon fiber? Yeah, that's carbon fiber. The other one's chrome. Oh well. Oh. I mean, it, it, it's lighter, bro. It'll do. Kind of looks like you the didn't, face You, you didn't. No, no, put the put the special wing. Yes, yeah, special wing. So I, cool. I like it. So I, I like the Mito anyway, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, well, yeah. it's grown on me. Like, it was a, a cool small car. Uh, right. Oh, what the fuck does that do to the front grille? Is that Wait, just that oh. one with the slats? I know. Yeah. Wait, no. Uh, isn't isn't it just making it carbon? I don't know. Anyways, we will put a little bit of power through this. Just the trickle. Uh. And then sports off tires. And that should be good. I like the Mito. I think this is going to go well. And we haven't had to buy a car. Which means the costs are low. Which is good if you're on a budget like me. Festival Italia. An exclusive Italian only event. Take it to the trash in a luxurious Latin style. Of course it's Rome. Yeah. I mean... I mean... Mm. It has to have run for Italian tracks. Italy's falling out of favour with me. So where do we have 500? Panda, the bus, to get anything I want for my first So the last event had a joke car and I guess this one does too. No! The, the, there is about? an old Fiat 500. Excellent. That is, and there's a Panda as well, but the Panda's a brilliant car as we've seen. Mm -hmm. We made it work. He this can. literally looks like my mother's. I mean, you're saying that as if they've given me to will be different, like... Well, it's even, I think this would be a Japanese market one. Like with the 500, because the speedo's in kilometers. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. I didn't realize there was a Japanese spec Mito, but that also probably explains why it hasn't got the proper trim name. Because I think we got this as the Velo Veloce. Veloce, yeah. That's well, an aspirational name for it. Like, 
Well, well, the funny thing is, when I say my mother had one of these, it was literally one of these. It was this colour, it was this 1.4 turbo engine, it Did had it the have same... really thick carbon? Yep. Had the really weird carbon fibre bit on the dashboard. Oh, fuck yeah. Which was standard across all Velocities. I think the only thing it didn't have is it had a conventional radio, not the screen thing this has. And yeah, it, it was it was cool. I she misses that car. I miss that car. It's still in this part of the country as well. I see it every now and again. It's driven by some person who thinks it's cool to have short hair as a female. So. That sounded very condescending, it wasn't meant to. <laughs> that got worded very wrong. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's owned by someone who's, you know, really taking advantage of that 8.1 seconds 0 to 60 time. Which means it actually does have quite a bit of gelp and go. It did, to be fair. Did your mum take advantage of it? Huh? Did your mum take advantage of 8.1 second to 16? Yeah, I, 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 every now and again. I mean, that probably what got it, you know, crashed door first into an insignia and then repaired. The car was good though. It was reliable <laughs> as well, which everyone seems to knock out oh. for, but. At the end of the day, if you maintain it, it'll pay you back. It's like anything modern, it needs servicing. Because they make engines within, it, within an inch of their life these days. Thanks to all the economy stuff. Yeah, don't tell me about that. I love dealing with Chinese people. And Eastern <laughs> Europeans. Any context or? I mean, you're not talking about the economy and, sh and, and engines. I work in an engine plant. Right. It's quality suppliers. So I'm the guy that did So if my engine, engine fails, fails, I can come to your part of the woods and beat um, you around the head uh, with it. Well, well, well no, no I, 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 I don't work for Honda, so no. No, but if I buy a Citroen C5X and the engine breaks, I can come around and beat you to death with one of the pistons. <laughs> no, 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 you, no, you give me the pistons. Hey, you know what we said about the Fiat 500? <laughs> you you yeah. give me the you give There's me the pistons. There's a blue dot on the map. I, 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 I tell you, who, who to get fucking killed with the piston? I tell you where to go and to kill. Okay, good. So I just have to break your legs with the piston part. No, no, no. You 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 just you, you just ask. I look at it and I can tell you what exactly you have to kill. Hello, Fiat 500. Bye bye, Fiat 500. <laughs> it's a valiant effort. The important thing is it tried. In fairness, I don't know how much further up the road the panda is, to be honest with you. The Fiat 500 gets a participation trophy. Exactly. Hey, uh, at least you got to the finish before seeing the panda. Yes, exactly. It's because the panda is too good of a car. I love it how it's basically all of the Alfa Romeos and then some Fiat products. Arguably the Alfa Romeos are Fiat products. And then there's a couple of Auto Biancis and that's about it. Well, but the Auto, Bianchi, Auto, Auto Biancis are just a Fiat. Yeah. Every with Italian car is just a Fiat, really. Yeah, it's a Fiat with some different stuff. Oh, mom's a fuck yeah. No chicanes! Hey. No chicanes! <laughs> Who needs chicanes when you're driving a Fiat 500? Oh good, you're driving an oval. If the 500 shows up here, it's like... It's dead. Oh, it is here. Yay! <laughs> oh wait, there is a buff punto, that's cool. It is Darkest. all of the Fiats and Alfa Romeos, and then there is one Dino. In beige Darkest. for some reason. I love it how it says no chicanes, but what it really means is it's just not got a chicane at the first corner. 
So it should be no chicane. Well, at least it's moving out of the way already. See, it's got the line of the people that cannot break at, at Monza. Just go straight. Here's the question, will we lap it twice? I mean, you can technically, it's Monza. Barquetta, cool car. I isn't dearly love a broken computer. Isn't the Barquetta just a coupe? No, it's a convertible. Yeah, but do you get what I mean? It was a Punzo convertible released around the same time they made the Punzo convertible. Do you know what engine was in the Barquetta? What? The same as in the Punzo convertible. Wow! Wait, they made a Punto convertible? What? Is... Yeah. It, well, I mean, technically it was built by Pin and Farina, I think. But... Yeah, you could get that with a 1.6 litre, 90 brake horsepower. Lump. I watched a video the other day. Oh, Furious Driving's another one that I sort of watch a lot of on YouTube. And there was a guy who had, um, what was it? He had 40 Fiat's in a barn. That's depressing. And one of them is a Punto GT. That's less depressing. No, but unlike most people who have stuff in barns, he actually plans to do something or some stuff. I think he had like 40 pandas or something. Of various states. As a. Yeah? This is a man who had three fear ideas. Well, that's not a good idea. He just, li he just likes fears. You have to to have a fear idea. I remember being obsessed with that car as a kid, and I can't tell you why. I think it's because my first ever car brochure I got was for the Fiat Idea. God, the idea. Yeah. Oh my god. It wasn't a good idea. It was an idea that should have been scrapped. It was just an idea. Well, considering the fact there's like less than 100 left on our roads, it doesn't feel like it was more than just an idea. But I'd argue it well, deserved more success than a Vauxhall Mariva. They had an idea we built it. Yeah. And then, as usual, it's no one outside of Italy bought it. <laughs> the Italians buy several gazillion of them. The Italians are the only in resonance Lance isn't dead because he still lives there. I was gonna, yeah, I was going to say, Italy's keeping Lance here alive. If, even though they are going Why to reboot no? they, they are rebooting it. But, from, well, let's say they are. From, no, they are, they are, they are. So some, some, something internally show up with uh, bits of the concept and she's like, before they show, show it to Florey. Well, knowing how Stellantis works, They'll probably fuck it up because yeah, they'll we... take a Maserati and they'll turn that into the first Lancia, and then the first Lancia will then re be rebadged as an Alfa Romeo, which then means it will go to America and get rebadged as a Dodge, yep. and then sold for ten grand cheaper, and then everyone inside Stellantis will go. Why is no one buying the Alfa Romeo version? And then... Dodge Hornet. Um, <laughs> although the Dodge Hornet's gonna have a funny bit of an after story to it. Because guess what they spotted in Turkey not long ago? What did they spot in Turkey long ago? They spotted the Dodge Hornet with Fiat badges on it. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> so Dodge is about to get fucked. <laughs> oh, no! Ram Pro Master. <laughs> I, I love Stellantis. Stellantis is like trying to do what Ford did in the 70s, but Ford's realised like you can't do that anymore. Where people will just pay for nicer versions of other cars instead of like looking at the competition.
Look at the Alfa Romeo toenail. Yeah. I like that car. But you like, if I'm if I'm not wrong, I think uh, that it, 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 uh, the Italians are going to build shit on the Dodge platform that they build. The, they are going to build the new EV uh, Ram. Huh? So that challenge is so getting the well, challenge of fucking EV is so getting turned into a fucking line. I hope the I hope the EV ram is gonna fare better than the hybrid they made that caught fire. I mean I mean you're talking about Stellantis, don't expect much out of it. <laughs> Apart from no, that fire. wasn't Stellantis, it was struck in this was before uh, this was right around when uh, he, Was this right around when the recession down. happened? Oh. I can't remember. I think it might have been 2012. The year of like the Chevy Tahoe hybrids and stuff like that. There, I could have, but uh, but it was a different hybrid, anyways. Because uh, the Rams, <laughs> the Ram hybrid was basically just a big generator. <laughs> for sorry. Power, powering sword. <sighs> sorry, I've just got it's this idea. It's just, idea. A big it was just oh. like, hmm. Oh, yeah. Hybrids. How, how do we develop a hybrid? Well. Ford uses I mean, electric yeah. power. Dodge, what ideas have you got for a hybrid? A hybrid should be an engine and a wood burner. <laughs> and you throw wood in it. Well, hybrid. <laughs> well, don't, uh, when they made the Ram hybrid, they just made the, the made the battery just a big generator for uh, storage facilities when they lose power. And Again, like I say, they're just going to like be like, hmm, how, how, how can we help the environment? We're gonna make a coal burning car. You throw coal yeah. in it. Rolling coal. And then, and then the ele electrical systems of the building overheated the batteries of the Rams, and then the Rams caught fire. <laughs> so I have no faith in Dodge making the EV. Well, uh, uh, well, I'm uh, not being uh, funny. They're calling it an EV muscle car, which instantly sends off alarm bells. I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Um, Stellantis CV aren't better than what you described. I mean, their their uh, exhaust sound system is terrible. So, <laughs> oh, there's no old Fiat 500 in this, right? There's also let me no get, let me get an exhaust system, let me get a base things. booster. Yeah. <laughs> a bigger amp. Amplify. The streets of Monaco shut down for an- Oh my god! What in the fuck? Did your Fiat just go? Well that was fucking scary. <laughs> Did it just decide to accelerate? No, it decided that it'd be a really good time to lift the back axle. <laughs> yeah, cars do that on this event sometimes. Yeah, the Barchetta in front of me did that as well. Fucking Rhino saw it in his GT6 LP, I remember. Jesus Christ. Well, that was my, fucking my, scary. My neck a moment. I was gonna use Monza for the thumbnail, but fuck it, if that happens again. <laughs> That's a thumbnail. I mean, you can, you, you can get the replay. And get the yeah, I'll save both and then... See which one. I didn't realize saving replays in this game took like two seconds. Otherwise I would have been doing that from the start. Instead I'm gonna have to go through and replay some events. No. Oh Jesus. That was an attempt at an overtaking move. Which the AI... Squeezed me, let's put it that way. The AI has a good blocking skills. No shit. Their blocking skills include just <laughs> jamming you between the wall and themselves. I'm not gonna say what I thought I was gonna say, cause... Why has it changed from car names to people? I don't know. Did you push a button, maybe? I don't Change think it. so. If that's something you can change by pushing a button, I'd be mad. Right. Is it gonna do it again? 
No. Okay. Hmm. Now I just think I was seeing things. Nah, it does do that. This is really irritating me. Isn't it in here somewhere? There we go. We have to look at the replay though. Yeah. Handbrake turn through. I'm not gonna pretend that I know the corner names, I don't. Oh, for a Mayor GT, very underrated. I remember seeing one for 1500 quid once with the V6 engine. I was tempted and then I looked at the MSC history and then I wasn't tempted no more. What was it busted out? Um, you know, severe corrosion severely affecting structural rigidity. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's, that's an alpha armor for you? Minor stuff. No, in fairness, that's basically any car from the 90s at this point. Yeah. I saw an incredibly clean K11 Micra, and then that had rust. The thing is, I wouldn't be worried about rust if there's proof that it's been fit. But what if there isn't? Then fucking run. <laughs> Get the fucking receipt from the welder, and everything. What? Here's the rust test. You kick a wheel, and if the car falls into bits... Yeah, if it starts shedding pieces. Yeah. That's it's right, a bit more run away. Than, the old, than the old put a fucking screwdriver through the sill. That's, yeah. That's why I don't uh, kick my truck too much. Kick a truck. Uh, is your yeah. is your truck your rust bucket? It... Have you oh not seen God, his truck? I don't think it. it, it his truck's the one where someone screwed the wrong fucking drive shaft to it or something, <laughs> and so no. one side was shorter than the other. It was. No. No. Someone someone put the steering knuckle from a '96 in. That's the one. Left it. Yeah, on one side, because reasons. Trick. Ford built turf. I mean, yeah, it's Ford. Built Ford tough. Tough Ford built. And the box is on an angle and not lined up with the cab. <laughs> Minor issue. Nishalan Bridgestone Gwanj Wisdom Number 3 You're listening to the sound of the DOG, baby the line no. <laughs> the Monaco nightmare is over right let's see if an Alfa Romeo Mito decides to yeet itself into the air or not that's a ever taking move on a Fiat 500 god but that camera angle is horrific Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> That's a, that was a good thumbnail. That, that, that was quite a thing. There it is. Yeah, it does that. Yeah. Don't, don't forget to save it. No, no, I don't need to. I've got that. Oh, God. That's the only bit I'm interested in. And hurrah! That is that. Thank you all very much for watching. Next time, we'll be taking a look at the 
European Hot Hatch series, so join us for that. Until then, farewell. <laughs>